just like a little Caesar's cheeser cheeser's back. I can't wait to see what Danny thinks about this bad boy. What is going on, guys? It is your boy Danny D back at you the brand new video. Hey! Hey, get out of here! Hey! He was my neighbor and he violated me! Now I'll never end up in a fancy pie! In today's video, we're gonna be checking out the product from Little Caesar that just has made its return. It is the cheesier, cheesier pizza. Now, I reviewed this a few months ago on the channel. For fans of the channel, you know I checked this out. I thought it was pretty good. A couple months ago, I checked it out, but they brought this bad boy back probably this week, I think, because some of the homeboys at Little Caesar said this back and you gotta try it out and see what you think about it again. So I was like, you know what? It'd be a great opportunity to do another review on this because I know some of you guys probably still haven't checked this pizza out. And you'd love to see like my opinion on this pizza because if you're a fan of pizza, you're gonna love this bad boy because I do love Little Caesar's cheese bread and the regular pepperoni pizzas. Their cheese bread with pepperonis on it is so delicious. I might have to get that and review it for you guys. That would be very solid because who doesn't love cheese bread? This bad boy apparently has a Asiago cheese blend on the crust itself, which makes it taste like cheeses, which I thought was really cool. Then you got the little mozzarella balls on top of it. It's like seven of them on there, I think. Just spread all around the bad boy. And it's got like some basil drizzle on top of it. All together, it sounds really solid. I can't wait to crack into this bad boy. So without further ado, guys, I'm gonna show you what this bad boy looks like. This bad boy right here is the cheesier, cheesier pizza. I do love the delivery, delivery logo on the box. Very solid. I love the orange, nice and bright, so it stands out. So let's go ahead and let's pop the top on this bad boy. Oh yeah, that looks so good. So you can see on the crust right here, get a little close-up shot. You got the Asiago cheese blend on the crust, nice and golden brown to perfection. Then you have like the little white mozzarella balls on the top of it with a little bit of basil drizzled everywhere. This looks like it should be so good. I can't remember what I rated it last time I reviewed it. But I do remember that I thought it was pretty solid, but we're gonna go ahead and we'll grab a slice of this bad boy and I'm gonna give you a closer up shot and show you what it looks like. This bad boy is loaded with pepperonis. Got the nice mozzarella balls sitting on the very end right there. Perfect for when I go for my first bite to get a nice chew of that bad boy along with the basil. And you got the nice Asiago crust right there, just chilling. It looks so good, guys. I cannot wait to go in for bite number one. So without further ado, let's get into it and go for bite number one. Cheers. Bite number one, that is very solid. One thing I do like about this pizza alone is they go a little bit lighter on the sauce because personally for me, I do like sauce on my pizzas, but I don't like it heavy, like it dripping everywhere. I like mine a little lighter, so you know you get the taste of the sauce, but it's not like overpowering, not dripping everywhere, getting on your clothes, getting everywhere, making a mess. The pepperonis are cooked to perfection. That mozzarella ball is nice and melted as well, so it's all smooth and creamy. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go in for a second bite of the pizza, then we'll go in for a third bite of the crust and see what it all tastes like. Cheers. I love their pepperonis. It has a nice little kick to it. They're nice and crispy too, so it's not too burnt or too underdone. It's just right perfectly in the middle. It's a nice crisp when you bite into those pepperonis. I'm in love with this so far, guys. It is not one of my favorite pizzas from Little Caesars that I've had, but it's definitely up there. It's definitely not bad at all. But I'm going to go ahead for this bite of this crust and see what it tastes like again, because I do remember it tasting like cheese from before. So I'm going to bite into it and see if I still what it tastes like. Cheers, guys. That crust is actually really solid. You definitely get the burst of a cheese's flavor, which is kind of crazy. I've never actually had a pizza that tastes like Cheez-Its. I do know, I think, if correct me if I'm wrong, I think Pizza Hut actually had like a Cheez-Its that was stuffed with pepperoni and cheese. I'm not too sure about that. I remember seeing it somewhere on the web. If I am wrong, guys, leave me a comment below and let me know what actual fast food chain released that item. But this is so solid. I actually am enjoying this a lot more than I intended to. I know the first time that it came around, I wasn't, you know, too into it. But after, you know, a while, and they probably did some tweaking to it over the time. Maybe did some different ingredients to like how they made the balls and like made it more melting. Because I know from before when they made the little mozzarella balls onto the pizza, it didn't really milk that well. But it seemed like they did milk a lot better and made it a lot more creamier. All together, guys, I am actually gonna recommend you go try this product. I am gonna give this a solid four out of five. It is very solid, it's very good. You get the crisp taste from the pepperonis. That cheese it's crust is so delicious. The mozzarella balls are so smooth and so creamy. All together for a pizza for around six bucks, you can't really argue with it because Little Caesars is very solid when it comes to cheap pizzas. They're probably like the kings of the cheap pizza, and you know they've been making a lot of money off the pepperoni, especially when they sell them for around six bucks a piece. 
and you know people just go in there every day they probably sell 100 of those a day and that's a lot of profit right there but if you haven't checked this out i definitely recommend you go and check it out but i do recommend if you do get this bad boy get you a lot of napkins because it is a greasy son of a gun and you're definitely gonna need that when you're spilling juice everywhere from this because it is so greasy but that grease just makes it so good i love my pizzas are nice and greasy got the nice cheese game the nice pepperoni game and when it's just all sudden perfect like that you can't beat that guys if you enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up and a comment below if you would love to see me do in the future and remember if you're not subscribed to this channel subscribe for more amazing content in the future and as always have a wonderful rest of your day bow